What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So today I'm going to show you some Funko Pops you probably didn't know I had in my collection. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so this was a fun little idea that I kind of just came up with. Um, I know you guys have seen full collection videos. I have not done one this, well I've done one this year but not of recent because my collection has changed dramatically and drastically is probably the better word there. Drastically since the last one that I did. I actually considered taking down that one and doing a new one. So if you guys want to see a full collection video, make sure to leave a comment down below uh, letting me know. However, because those videos are about an hour long because I have like almost 300 pops. However, this video is going to be showing you guys some pops that I don't show off like very often and you guys probably didn't know that I had. So um, I felt like this was a fun little idea. So if you guys enjoy this, make sure to leave a like down below. But anyways, let's get started guys. So um, I I feel like, what do I want to show off first? Okay, let's show off this one first that I recently got from a um, subscriber who sent this in. So this one's from Millennial Realm. Uh, so this is from Yu Yu Hak. Hakusho, I think. Hakusho, I think that's how you say it. I haven't seen the anime, but this, uh, I had a subscriber send this one in. I'm assuming she is hinting at that she wants me to watch this, so I'll probably check it out. Um, so this is Kuwabara. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I maybe if I watch the show and I like it, I'll get the rest and do a little review for you guys. We'll see. Uh, but it is a cool looking pop, I will say. But I have never seen. I haven't seen the show yet, and I really don't even know what it's about. Next up, guys, we have a South Park pop, and we have Mr. Hanky. So. Uh, this one was actually a birthday gift um, from Alexis, aka Beard of Pop's daughter. I'm sure you guys know her um, from Beard of Pop's channel. And this was really cool. She actually made it glow in the dark, like a glowing kind of turd. So it was kind of funny. It was a very weird mystery box that she sent over. A really cool one. Uh, so thank you again, Alexis, if you see this. Uh, but yeah, she even signed it a little bit there. I got a lot of autographs from you guys. Like, what's, what's going on? You guys you guys hinting you guys want my autograph back? No, not, nobody wants my autograph. Um, but anyways, this is a really cool one. So it has like a J, no, an S on top for like, you know, you know, um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool. And I don't think I checked out the glow on camera, but I did check it out off camera. It's actually kind of funny, but it is a really cool one. Next up, this one is from a subscriber that they sent last year. Now, this is when I wasn't heavy into collecting Marvel anymore. However, uh, they sent over a Captain Marvel pop, and I still have it to this day. Really awesome one. Uh, this is where it's glow in the dark, and it has the little Tesseract and the lunchbox glowing there. Pretty cool pop. Um, I had it out of box for a while, but I kind of did conserve shelf space. I put it back in the box and put it behind some other pops, but it is a pr it is a pretty cool one, I will say. It is the only one I have from the Captain Marvel set, um, and I don't have very many obscure Marvel pops, but it is pretty cool, I will say. Next up, guys, we have an out-of-box Michael Jordan figure. So this one was actually really cool. So uh, this was actually supposed to go to my dad as a gift, but uh, I never ended up getting it like being able to get it to him uh, just because like the whole pandemic happened and then we didn't hang out for a while and things like that. So I gave him something else. Um, but though this is kind of just in the collection now. I don't have the box because I accidentally crushed the box on accident I stepped on it. So yeah, that happened. But overall, it is still a pretty cool looking pop and it's the only Michael Jordan pop I have currently. Next up guys, from One Piece, we have Monkey D. Luffy. So this is the only one that I have in the One Piece set. I would like to get the rest eventually. So um, Chopper, uh, Porta Portagus D8, Port Portagus? I don't, I'm sorry. Ace. We're going to call him Ace. I'm sorry to anybody offended who watches One Piece. Um, and then Law. Law is a big one on my list as well as Flock Chopper and Brook. I want to knock those grails out of here. Um, I am actually currently looking for a new anime to watch. So maybe I might, maybe I might watch One Piece, but I, I feel like I don't, I'm not mentally ready for One Piece because there's like 900 episodes. Maybe I should just watch enough to where I understand what's going on and then I can do a review on the pops. But overall, this is a cool looking pop. I know Luffy at least. I know Zoro, Chopper, um, Ace. I don't know too many of the characters. Nami, Robin, Usopp. I know, I know some of their names because my brother is like a huge One Piece fan, but overall this is still a really cool one. And uh, let me know down below if I should watch One Piece. <laughs> Moving on guys, this is probably the most obscure pop in my collection and one you guys probably haven't really seen unless I've done a full collection video because I don't really take it out too often. We have Cat Dog from Nickelodeon. So the last cartoon pops I had was Johnny Bravo and Dexter. However, my sister gave me this. She won it at a Dave & Buster's um, about two years ago, I think. So this 
this was definitely one of my first like 20 pops like it was crazy um, and I've had it almost three years now which is just crazy so I love the show growing up and uh, you know it was my sister gave it to me I highly doubt she'd care if I got rid of it but you know it has that sentimental value because she gave it to me so um, and none of them collect pops so it's funny that they'll get me pops but they won't collect them so it's still a really cool one and, and it, it's an obscure one in my collection for sure and I would like to get the flocked one one day maybe next up guys we have a John Wick with his dog. So this is a set that I would like to complete one day. Um, the only ones I'm missing is the other common John Wick and the Chase. So if anybody has those, let me know down below. Uh, but yeah, it's a rather small set, so it's really easy to complete. And it's it's definitely another obscure pop in my collection, just like the cat dog one. But I love the John Wick movies. I cannot wait for John Wick 4. It's going to be really awesome. Um, the last one was called Parabellum, I believe, and it was really, really great. Left it on a huge um, like cliffhanger with him still being alive, and I can't wait to see that I'm so excited. Also, I'm excited for the Matrix, um, the new movie. I, I don't know if I've seen the last Matrix movie. I feel like I have. I probably just don't remember it, but I'm super excited. I would love to have the Matrix set one day as well, but this, this is a really cool one and I can't wait to finish the set. So lastly, guys, I actually have three of this um, character and it is John Cena. So this was my first John Cena pop ever. Um, really, really great wrestler, very iconic wrestler, very well known in the WWE industry. Um, and he is just my all around favorite wrestler next to Dwayne The Rock Johnson, of course. Um, that is the only one, other one I would probably collect pops of because he has some cool ones out there. Um, another one we have is John Cena and this is in his Yankee jersey. And then he has um, word life on his uh, like knuckles there. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. Uh, that's what he is known for. And it, this is just overall really cool pop. Um, this is one I normally don't pick up pops in the store too often unless like like they're for a certain set and things like that. But this is just kind of one that I bought randomly one day because I like really liked how it looked. So that was a really awesome one. And lastly, guys, we have the John Cena Amazon exclusive where he is translucent. You can't see me. My time is now. So. This one was a really awesome one. I think a subscriber sent this one over, if I'm not mistaken. I think, I don't know. I have so many pops, and you guys have sent over so many pops that sometimes I get it mixed up. And I feel really bad if I accidentally get rid of one. So, um, so this is just a really, really cool one. But I believe a subscriber sent this one over, if I'm not mistaken. I would like to get a couple more in the John Cena set, maybe. But all of them are super, super expensive, I will say. Um, it's kind of crazy. They're, they, I wasn't expecting they get so expensive. But I guess with him not really doing wrestling as much anymore, more, it makes sense that they'd go up in value. But like I said before, the only other wrestler I would collect would be The Rock. That's about it. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to keep the WWE line super small because the WWE line is like endless. All right, guys. So that was a little fun video just to show you guys some pops that I don't show off too often. And they're kind of hidden in the back of all these because these are the main ones that you guys are here for. And these are the main ones that I love and things like that. And they make for great displays, obviously. So let me know down below what is an obscure pop in your collection that not everybody knows you have have or something you don't show off too often. I would love to know down below. But anyways, I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon subscribers. I appreciate you supporting the channel so much. You guys are absolutely legendary with your support. If you guys want to check out the Patreon and help out the channel, make sure to check out that link down below. You guys can get Patreon only videos. You guys can get even get gifts sent from me to you. That'd be really awesome, right? Gifts, gifts, stickers, all kinds of cool stuff. Patreon only content, all kinds of cool stuff going on over there. So make sure to go check it out. I also want to make sure to tell you guys to join my Facebook group and Discord. Really great communities over there. They are buy, sell, and trade, folks. Buy, sell, and trade. You can't, you can't beat that. And you guys can make tons of friends. I see it happen all the time. So much friendship in the air. I also want to tell you guys to make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's where I post the most. And that's when I post when my videos go live, of course, and all kinds of cool photos and pop photography and things like that. So make sure to go follow those, of course. But anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.